What's going on guys, my name is Embrace the Pace and today's video is a little bit bittersweet. I'm going to be talking to you guys about my future plans for NBA 2K18 and beyond and I'm going to go ahead and say it right here at the beginning of the video, I will not be releasing my own draft classes for NBA 2K18. And I know that's going to be really disappointing for some of you, it's definitely really sad for me as well. This is something that I've been doing since 2K15 and it's been a ton of fun, I've enjoyed it so much. And I've enjoyed how much you guys have supported the draft classes and the offseason rosters and everything like that. It's definitely been a ton of fun, but I've thought about this a lot and I feel like this is the perfect time for me to take a break and focus my time on other things. So this video is basically to let you guys know why I won't be making draft classes on 2K18, but it's not all sad because I'll definitely still be involved. I will not be dropping off the face of the earth. I've still got some stuff planned that I'm really excited about and some stuff that I think is going to help you guys out a lot and you guys will be excited about as well. But before I dive into all that stuff, I first want to explain to you guys why I won't be making draft classes anymore. And there's really just one main reason for that and that reason is time. This is a very, very time consuming thing to do and I want to and need to focus my time on other things. Um, like I said, there takes a lot of time to do what I've done the past few years of making these draft classes and making sure that they're as accurate as possible, as realistic as possible, making sure they stay updated all year long, making sure I'm always adding to them and making them better, um, making sure that I'm giving you guys uh, you know, tutorials on how to make these players as well as promoting the draft classes on YouTube and Twitter. Overall, it's just a super time consuming thing and while it's extremely fun too, you definitely have that trade-off of not having as much time to focus on other things as well. And uh, if you guys didn't know, I'm actually a junior in college. I go to the University of Virginia, and that's something that's super, super important. And I want to make sure that I make the most of that opportunity, and I feel like when so much of my time is tied up in making these draft classes, um, you know, I don't want to let that opportunity pass me by. I want to make sure that I make the most of that opportunity that I have. So, I feel like while this is super, super fun, I just need to focus my time on other things. And while I'm definitely sad that I won't be doing it this year, I'm also happy that I will have so much extra time to focus on other things. And I'm sure you guys will be completely understanding of this and why I made this decision. A lot of you guys even make your own draft classes and create your own players so you guys can attest to how much time and effort it takes to really perfect it and make the draft classes and stuff as accurate as you can. So I'm sure you guys can definitely understand where I'm coming from. And that's one of the things that I really like so much about doing this is you guys are just always so enthusiastic and supportive and understanding about stuff. Like I get almost no negative comments on YouTube or Twitter. You guys always are so appreciative of the stuff that I've done and you're always giving great feedback and being so positive. It's definitely been so much fun doing it and that's one of the things that I'll miss most about it. So that's the reasoning behind why I won't be making my own draft classes on NBA 2K18, but I'll still be involved, I'll still be around, and I've still got some pretty cool stuff planned for 2K18 that I think is going to help you guys out a lot. And that's really the main thing I want to do now that I won't be making my own draft classes for you guys to use. I want to make sure that I can help you guys as much as I possibly can, and some of the stuff I have planned will definitely do that. So let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit. First off, I will still be running 2K rosters on Twitter. If you guys don't know what that is, go check out the video I posted the other day about it. It explains what it is, what the goal is, everything like that. But basically, it's a brand new Twitter account that focuses on community-created content. I just released it the other day in the end of July with the infamous New York and Brian Mazik, aka Franchise Play. The release of that went extremely well, way better than I thought it was going to. We gained like 2,000 followers overnight. It was absolutely insane. You guys have really appreciated it and enjoyed it a lot. Um, and once we get closer to 2K18, it's going to ramp up even more. We've already had a lot of people reach out um, and asking for people to collaborate with on 2K18, already asking about projects. And like I said, that'll be amplified even more once 2K18 comes out. So I'll still be involved with that. Definitely go follow it on Twitter. Uh, the Twitter account will be down in the description. The username is at 2K underscore rosters. Another thing to look out for tomorrow afternoon I will be posting another video a very very exciting video about a project that I've put hours into this summer 
I've really worked hard on it and I think it's turned out extremely well. Um, I'll be posting a video about that tomorrow. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, but it's very, very cool and I think it's going to help you guys out a ton. I know for a fact it will help you guys out a ton if you're interested in making draft classes or making players or anything like that. This is going to be an absolute must have for you. So make sure you check out my channel tomorrow and I'll announce what that is and give you guys a complete rundown of it. And lastly, I'll still be making some players on NBA 2K18. I still love to do it. It's a lot of fun. It's just the overall time commitment of managing the big projects that I won't be able to do. But I'll definitely still be making some players. And that means that I'm actually talking to some people right now about collaborating on a community draft class. And I don't really have too much info on that yet. We haven't sorted out all the details. But if you are interested in helping on that, definitely leave a comment down below hit me up on twitter let me know your if you're interested in helping out like i said we don't have all the details together but i will be collaborating and helping some other people on their draft classes and if you guys follow me on twitter you'll definitely know about that so stay tuned for that it should be a lot of fun as far as youtube goes since i won't be making my draft classes like i have in the past I also won't be posting creation tutorials or really posting any YouTube videos either. I think I'm going to take a pretty extensive break from YouTube and just kind of focus my time on other things and then evaluate it later. But I can tell you guys that I don't think this is the end for me and YouTube. YouTube is something that I like a lot. I've been doing it for a really long time, even way back before I started making draft classes. I started making YouTube videos back when Modern Warfare 2 was out, which was a really, really long time ago. Um, so it's definitely something that I like a lot, and I've got a lot of ideas. There's lots of different things I've thought about um, as far as like taking the channel in a little bit of a different direction, focusing more on real sports um, while still incorporating some 2K. There's just a lot of stuff that I've thought about um, that I'd like to do eventually, but for now, I have no plans for that. I will be taking a break. And if anything changes and I do jump into something new, I'll definitely let you guys know about it. And that's why I really want you guys to still follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. I'll be using that a lot more and I will keep you guys updated. But like I said, YouTube is something that I really like a lot and I don't think this is going to be the end for it. So if I do come up with new plans, I'll definitely make sure to let you guys know. So that's pretty much it for this video. Like I said at the beginning, it's definitely a little bit bittersweet. Because while I'm telling you guys that I won't be making draft classes anymore and it's something that I've loved doing so much for the last few years, I'm also excited at the same time for these other projects that I've got going on and also about having a lot of extra time to focus on other things. So it's definitely a little bittersweet, but it's all good. And I thank you guys so much for watching. I thank you guys so much for all the support over the years. It's been so much fun. I can't even explain to you how much fun it's been. Way back in 2K15 when I started doing this, I started doing it because create a player was new in 2K15. They had a new create a player system and I thought it looked cool and I've always liked making rosters and creating players on games ever since I was just a little kid. So I decided I'd go ahead and make a draft class. I posted a YouTube video about it. People started liking it and it just took off from there. And where we started to where we are now is absolutely crazy. It's something that I'll always remember and always look back fondly on. And I really appreciate all the support from you guys a lot. So make sure you are still following me on Twitter, Instagram. I'll keep you guys updated on all things. Make sure you're um, you know, still looking out for that video tomorrow about a very special project that I've been working on all summer that I think will help you guys out a lot. So make sure you guys are looking forward to that. Once again, thank you guys so much for everything over the years. It's been a blast, and I really appreciate all the support. I'll talk to you guys later.